Don't know why I'm drifting, I'm drifting so Out of my mind Hello guys, this is a reading for um, to see what is going on with the ex. This is for the 22nd through the 29th of July. And a card just flipped over there. What's currently going on for this person is they're having um, a lot of uh, aha moments. Um, they're real realizing some things. I can't even talk. I'm feeling very anxious. Um, almost giddy right now, to be honest with you. But... I'm feeling that this person has realized a lot of things and um, they want to take action on this with this Ace of Swords energy. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. There's a lot that they have um, come to grips with and realized some truths um, that may have been hard to arrive at before, but I, I feel like now this person is um, coming to grips with a lot of things here. What is your ex's perception of you? Queen of Swords. They're ready to give you what you want. They feel like that's all that you want is to um, to hear them be honest, truthful, and be open with you, not hide anything from you. They see you as somebody that um, has been scorned a little bit, that may be a little angry and um, not really resentful, but it's like you're not that trusting of them currently. <clears throat> Let's see. Feelings about getting back together. Virgo's ex's feelings about getting back together here. Okay. A lot of cards wanting to come out here. But two flipped over. So I'm going to go ahead and take them since it's just two. And we have the Seven of Wands and um, the Six of Swords. Hmm. This, feeling, this person is, um, is feeling like... This is the thing about them. It's like they know what you want to hear and they want to tell it to you, what you want to hear. But this person um, is definitely, I feel, not quite as open um, with you as they are with themselves. But they definitely are trying to um, open themselves up more, um, be more what do you call it um transparent with you i feel like this person definitely does not want to move on without you so whatever it is that they need to do is what they want to do so they definitely want to get back together with you they're trying to find the right um things to do the right things to say in order to bring you guys back around to their side okay leo um Aquarius energy here now. What's blocking this person currently? What's blocking them? Seven of Pentacles. A true investment, to be honest with you. This is what's blocking them. Um, I feel like this person is a little self-serving. Like, they are invested in what makes them happy. Um, and you make them happy for sure. But I don't feel like they are quite as um, on board with, you know, the the benefit of the, the relationship in a whole, what's best for you and them. Uh, they need to invest more time, more energy into the relationship itself and not into their own personal wants and needs. Of course you should. Um, consider your uh, your personal wants and needs, but when you're in a relationship, you have to consider you know each other and what you both need as a whole. So that is what's blocking them. Let's see their next move. What is their next move? That's Taurus energy there. Their next move. The Ten of Wands. They're willing willing to do whatever they need to do to get you guys back to win you back. Whatever they need to do, that's what they they um, want to do, okay? Including doing and telling 
um, you what you want to hear. Um, so that's that's just a mm, just watch out for that. Just use your discernment. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords energy. The magician. Again. You know, I, I felt like this real anxious energy. Um, like they they know what it is that you guys want, um, what you have stated that you wanted, what you need, um, and they are basically trying to manifest something with you. But with this magician energy, with what I was already feeling, th there is a level of um, manipulation going on with this individual. Okay. Just keep that in mind, that Gemini energy. Please show me more about the Queen of Swords. The strength. I think you guys, you know, th this person feels like they also have to pull something different out the bag for you. Like the same old, same old is not going to work. Um, because you guys are way stronger and easily, um, you can easily tell now like what is truth and what is fiction and um, you'll be able to read between the lines and you know if this person is trying to pull something over your eyes or not so they're really gonna try to like you know pull out all the stops here with you guys okay Leo energy please show me more about the seven of wands and the six of swords justice Mm-hmm. Justice. This is a thing with them. They feel like um, they don't feel like what they're doing is necessarily manipulation. They feel like they deserve you. Um, they feel like if you know if they have to put on a little bit, um, tell you some things, whisper some sweet nothings in your ear, that um, there's nothing wrong with that that they're doing um, what is right not only for you but for them and um, whatever they need to do that's what they're going to do and they feel like they're doing the right thing here so it may not be um, a horrible thing what they're doing telling you what you want as long as they back it up okay if they're telling you something that they feel like you want to hear they're doing things that that they feel like you want them to do as long as they back that up and um and they are genuine with what they're saying and doing then um you know it would be okay i just don't want them to be telling you something just to try to win you back and then when they get you back then they flip the script again you know that is the thing so Let's see. Please show me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Please show me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Mm -mm. This person's definitely um, invested in themselves. But the Queen of Wands is also invested in the people that she cares about too. So um, I, I feel like this could be good here. Because I see them really trying to do what they feel like is best for them and for you. Um, here with this Justice and the Queen of Wands energy falling under Seven of Pentacles. Investing their time, their effort into this situation to try to ensure that it flourishes the way that it should. Okay. Please show me more about the Ten of Wands energy. Ten of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they'll do whatever they need to do here. That's what this is. The Two of Pentacles is is having that that nice balance to um, to keep everything afloat. And that's what I see them um, their next move as. They're going to do whatever they need to do to to make this relationship work out. Okay, so Capricorn energy there. So I don't necessarily see this as horrible, but they are pulling out some little tricks here to try to win you guys over, um, I see in this week, in this upcoming week. So, but of course, you're, you guys are the Queen of Swords here, so you will know 
if this is something that you want to continue to invest in here okay so that's what i have for you and um i'll be speaking with you guys soon bye now I've been blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me? The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?